Hey everyone, we're here to do a video review of the new Schuyler Quintel in the New American Standard version. Uh, this is a new Bible by Schuyler that just came out and it is amazing. There was a lot of hype around this Bible for many reasons that we'll go over here shortly. But um, I wanted to do a quick video review, mostly because if you're like me, before you purchase anything, you want to see what the Bible looks like, hear people talking about it. Um, a look at the different aspects of the Bible from more than just what a photo can show you. So what we're going to do in this review is we're going to we're going to do a quick demo of the Bible. We're going to look at the outside, we're going to look at the inside, we're going to look at some of the key features that this Bible has to offer. And then from there we're going to do some size comparisons. We're going to look at the uh, ESV full size study Bible offered by Crossway, the ESV personal size study Bible bound by R.L. Allen, also a crossway text block, and then we'll look at the full-size ESV uh, single column reference that Alan has to offer. Just to give you an idea when, when, uh, when you're looking at the size, um, if size is a deal breaker for you, you'll, you'll be able to compare them to three different size Bibles to see if, that's, uh, if that gives you better, uh, a better idea of the dimensions. So we'll do that uh, towards the end of the video. But let's, for now, let's look at the Bible itself. As you can see, uh, I went with the blue version the imperial blue as they call it, and let me tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I am a sucker for blue Bibles. I love blue Bibles. Uh, I will pick a blue Bible over any other color if I have the option. Um, and this one does not disappoint. It is a rich blue. Um, it's it's like a navy. Uh, here, let me do a side by side. We're gonna get to this Bible here, but this one is the Skyler Quintel, and then this is the Allen ESV uh, single column reference. So hard to tell kind of in this light, but when you put them side by side, uh, you know, very similar. A few, uh, a little bit of difference there. Obviously the grain's a lot different, but the color itself looks uh, very similar to uh, the color that Alan uses, at least I think so. But the grain on this is kind of a pebble grain. If you can see that up in the light there, um, it's very pebbly, uh, feels great. The leather itself is, is wonderful. Um, it, uh, it does have a dry stamp here on the front of the Jerusalem cross, which is also the Schuyler logo. This is the only dry stamp that I see on the Bible. The, um, the spine here, even though you have a few raised ridges, the spine is not dry stamped with the words. The words are in um, foil. So you've got Holy Bible in silver, New American Standard in silver, and then the Jerusalem cross with the Schuyler um, on the bottom also in silver. But they did a great job with the, uh, the dry stamp. It, it just looks so sharp, so clean. Um, I mean, the, the stamp itself came out great. So really super job there, Skyler. Let's look at the ribbons. So the ribbons here, you get four ribbons. Uh, you get two blue ribbons, and then you get two of these silvery color ribbons. Uh, I'm really glad they went with four. On a Bible this size, you, you really, you need it. Uh, you need a lot of ribbons because, uh, for me at least, this is going to be a, um, a study Bible. The New American Translation is great to use if you're doing Bible study, if you want as word for word as you can get in the English language, uh, it's fantastic for that. So that's what I got to use it for. Um, and so for me, ribbons, uh, four ribbons are, are going to get their, their use. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's take a look at the art guild. So the art guild on this is a blue under silver. Now, there's a lot of beautiful art guild out there from a lot of different manufacturers. Rarely will you see uh, one that's outside of the uh, red under gold. That is the, the standard, that's what most people use. Every once in a while you'll get a special edition Bible that'll use a uh, blue under gold, or more rare than that, you'll see one that's blue under silver. They, they decided to go with blue under silver if you go with the Imperial Blue Quintel, which I think is a great choice. It is so beautiful, so well done. It's shiny, it's sparkly. Um, it's it's gorgeous, but as good as it looks from the outside, it's really when you open it up that you get that beautiful blue color. And I don't know if you're seeing that, but the blue actually will change colors depending on how you hold the Bible. It will go from darker to lighter to darker. That blue art guilt is sharp. Uh, I love that. I think that really brings the whole thing together beautifully. Um, there, some people have said that their art guilting is a little bit lighter on, uh, on the blue part of it. Mine actually gets fairly dark, um, and I don't know if it's coming through here. I think it's, uh, it looks fairly light, but depending on how you hold the Bible, you really get that blue uh, look, and it is fantastic. Great job there with the art guilting 
It's got Looking at the uh, cover itself, yeah, this is not a glued color. This is actually sewn all the way around. And I, I really examined this when I, when I got the Bible. That looks like a really solid job um, with the thread and needle. Whoever did that, uh, kudos to you over at Skylar. This looks beautiful. Um, it does have leather lined interior, which I've heard some of the other Skylars do not. But uh, really sharp. Don't let the lack of yap detract you from this Bible. That was one of my concerns was there's not a, a yap like some of the Allen Bibles have and I really like that and I, I, was, I was a little bit bummed when I saw that it was only 9 millimeter yap. Uh, but don't let that detract you. This is a beautiful Bible and uh, it is not an Allen. So if you want an Allen, get an Allen. This is a Skyler. Um, a completely different feel, completely different Bible. So the yap on this is going to be a little bit different than the Allen Bibles. Let's take a look at the inside. Uh, starting at the, at the beginning here, you have some very beautiful presentation pages. So the very colorful kind of jumps out at you. The design here is the grapevine. You have the grapevine, the grapes, uh, a lot of symbolism there, but also just really beautiful and a splash of color. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on to the front page here, the title page. This is one of the small beefs, if you will, that I have with this Bible is uh, the title page came bent. Now, I don't know if that's just me. Let me see if I can get that in there. You can see the title page there is kind of bent in the corner. Not a huge deal, not a deal breaker, but I've heard from other people that um, their Bibles also had the same thing, where the, the title page was crinkled and bent. Um, so I'm not sure if that's something with the packaging or when they bound the Bible, but again, not a huge deal. Just something to keep in mind uh, for Skyler when they, they make more of these in the ESV, which will be coming out here shortly as well, that that might be something to pay attention to. Okay, now let's take a look at the typesetting. Uh, it is, I can't speak highly enough for this typesetting in this Bible. It is 11 point font. Uh, it is perfectly, well, as close to perfectly line matched as you can get, um, so which basically means that uh, the line on this side of the page will line up with the line on the other side of the page uh, and that will help with reduction of the ghosting effect or the bleed through effect. So that is a technique that uh, is used when uh, sometimes you have some lighter paper. I know the, I've heard the Clarion has some thinner paper, they line match by Cambridge and really helps with uh, that ghosting so that it doesn't detract you when you're reading, it doesn't really bother you as much. Um, not only does this have the line matching in the Quintel, but it's also on 45 GSM paper, which to my understanding is the most opaque paper on the market. So when you, when you turn the page, I mean, you can feel the, the quality and the thickness of that page. It, there's, there's some substance there. It's really like nothing I've ever felt before, but it is gorgeous. I wouldn't trade a millimeter in uh, thickness on this Bible to get rid of this paper. I think it's perfect. So uh, when they make the ESV, I really hope that everyone votes in the 45 because this is fantastic paper. Um, just the font that they used is so clear and I'm gonna try to get in there so you can see that, but it is just amazing. I can't speak highly enough for the font uh, in this Bible. And I can't remember off the top of my head what the exact font is, but um, it is 11 point in size. And as you can see here in the corner, when you look at the numbers, they are in this beautiful red color, just to give some contrast. Now you're gonna get red on a few pa uh, parts of the page. You're gonna get it on the chapter numbers. You're gonna get it at the bottom here. There's a line, a red line, that separates the Bible text from your references. And then you're gonna get it here at the top where it says the book name and number. And you'll get it one more place. We're gonna jump to the end here. But in the concordance, the um, Bible um, references themselves. So as you can see here, the words that you're looking up there in black, but then the actual Bible verses are in that red. So some people don't like that. I actually think it's kind of cool. Um, I've already used the concordance a few times on this Bible and it's really good. I, I, I like it. Uh, I actually use my concordance though. So um, for me, it's, it's great. Comes with some maps. And I've heard that these are the Oxford maps. So there's 32 pages of them. And I flipped through these earlier and they're, they're really well done. 
just the colors are so vibrant and they just pop out at you. A lot of detail, easy to see, easy to read the font. The font size is still fairly gracious even on the maps. So uh, I'm going to be using them. I don't typically use the maps in my Bibles. I mean, I do in my study Bible, but I think I'm going to be flipping back to these. I think they're just too, uh, too beautiful not to use. So that's just the basic run through of the Bible itself. Um, I love it. I mean, my, my verdict on this, and I'm going to write a, a review and post it on Evangelical Bible's website, is five out of five stars. Um, the one thing that I keep hearing people say, and I'm guilty, I've made the jokes, is the size. They're calling it a brick. It's just a huge Bible. Um, you know, the size to some people are a huge attractor. So that's one thing I wanted to focus on with this review. To give you a size comparison, I'm going to use some of the Bibles that I have and maybe you have the same Bibles, or maybe you have Bibles that are the similar dimensions. So what I'll do is I'll go through them one by one, and I'll give you the dimensions, and then I'll kind of line the Bible up so you can kind of see the size. And so I'll start with the one that I think is most similar to the Quintel, and that is the ESV full-size study Bible by Crossway. So the dimensions on this Bible, well, let me start with the Quintel. The Quintel dimensions are 6 by 9, and that's the book block. So that's where they're measuring from, the inside uh, paper and roughly 1.75 ish, maybe a little bit more, 1.7 or 1.8, 1.85 thickness inches. The ESV full size study Bible is 6.5 by 9.25, so it's larger uh, uh, in dimensions, length and width, and then the thickness is, well, from what I measured, and I use tape measure on the on the text block, just over two inches. So all in all, the ESV study is still a bigger Bible. Now, I'm going to put them side by side here so you can kind of see. Um, so there you have the thickness. Okay. And then if I stack them here, see if I can give you an accurate representation. So that's kind of how much more the, um, the ESV study Bible has on the Quintel. Now it's hard to kind of balance these guys here. Let's see. There you go. There you go. So, you know, it's a little bit bigger, the study Bible, not by much. But if you're planning on using this as a desk Bible, I, I think it's it's a good size. I mean, I, I told my friend I'm actually going to uh, probably take it to church a couple times. It's not, it's not overly big. This is the ESV study Bible by Allen. And the dimensions on this is... 5.5 by 8 inches and then the block is about 1.5 inches thick. So um, the thickness is actually fairly similar. Uh, the uh, Allen is obviously a little bit thinner, maybe a quarter inch, a little bit more. Um, but you can see the sizes from the top here, they're, they're about uh, almost similar. So really not a massive Bible in my opinion, it's big, but it's not, not massive. And then here you have the single column reference and this one's going to be the uh, quite a bit bigger. So you can see there it's it's the yap. But the thickness is really where you're going to notice the difference. The single column reference is 9.25 by 6.5 and then it's about 1.4, 1.5 inches thick. So I want to mention a few things before I end here. This Bible in and of itself, not compared to any other Bible, I, like I said, I'd give it five out of five stars. I do have a few things that I don't like as much with Schuyler Bibles that I that I do like with with Allen Bibles. So what I mean by that, the leather on the Quintel is not as flexible. I mean this thing, you can see it's got some flex. It's definitely not rigid uh, beyond belief, but it's it does not feel like the Allen Allen leather. Which um, in, in this particular case, we're just going to do a quick comparison. So, I mean the Allen leather just really. I mean it anywhere you pull on it and just it. It just rolls off the Bible. It's just supple, smooth, malleable. For me, this is my type of leather. I mean, when I open the Bible, I want it to, I want it to kind of flop and dance. You know, that's that's for me at least. That's my preference. Um, with the Quintel, you can tell that the leather is more stiff. You don't really get that as much. I mean, it can kind of stand on its own. You can see that. Um, and then they've really reinforced the binding on this because. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's thick. You can feel it when you open the front few pages. I mean, it, it d doesn't stay open in Genesis uh, like the Allens do, and that's partially because the uh, 
um, the binding. It just has to have that thick binding on there. Um, so in that regards, I'm going to give the leather marks to Alan. I'm also going to give the binding to Alan. I think that the Alan Bibles are just, in my opinion, a little better bound. They're both Smith's own, both great bindings. I just, for my personal taste, I like how the Allen Bibles feel, how they open up and lay on the table. Um, but Skyler still does a fantastic job with their binding. And the one other place that I'll give Allen their credit is the ribbons. I think the Allen ribbons are a little bit better. I think in this case they're, they're about the same. The reason why I'm going to give Alan the uh, credit on these ribbons is because the Skyler ribbons, and you're not going to be able to see it here, but my ribbons, uh, they when they cut the ribbon and they put a little bit of glue on the end to keep it from fraying, they didn't trim the glue off. So, I mean, I'm still picking, there's there's quite a bit of glue on the ends, and it just it looks tacky. It doesn't really look professional. It takes 60 seconds to go with a really fine scissor and, and just trim it down, make it look all professional, and they didn't do that. And... So, not a deal breaker, but just would have liked a little more attention to detail in that regard. But outside of the binding and the leather and the ribbons, uh, in my opinion, Skyler takes the cake with everything else. The text block is fantastic. It was specifically made for this Bible by uh, 2K Denmark. Wonderful job. I love the typesetting. I love the readability. I love the line matching. Head and shoulders above Allen. Anything Allen has to throw at it, really. I've seen a few examples of the long primer. Um, and the paper that it uses, which I believe is 30 or 32 GSM. This is the 45 GSM, thickest in the industry. The paper on this, hands down, the best paper I've ever seen. Again, points to Skyler. The, um, the arc gilding, I would say, is a tie. Uh, I like them both. I, I, they both look great. They both seem to be well done, well executed. So I'm not gonna really give uh, either one of them a, heads, uh, you know, a head and shoulders above the other on that category, but I will say this. Don't let the fact that this is not an Allen binding and not an Allen cover detract you from buying this Bible. It is worth every penny. I love this thing. It is wonderful. This is definitely going to be a daily reader for me. Um, and the thing that I will leave you with on, on this particular uh, review is really think about what you're looking to get out of this Bible. If you're looking for portability and a Bible that you're going to take to church every Sunday, this may not be the one for you. It really while I can read it on the couch, I can curl up with it and I can read it just fine. You know, I've got big hands. I mean, I can handle a Bible this size, no problem. It's still heavy. I mean, after a while, you're going to get a little fatigued of, of holding on to it. Um, so, you know, really look, what are you looking for out of a Bible? If you're looking for a good desk Bible, this is it. Um, if you're looking for a portable Bible, then you may want to go with something else. If you're looking for legibility, typesetting, paper, if you're looking for the reading experience, this is the Bible for you. Everything else I think is just a perk. The art gilding, the stitching, the leather, all of that I think is just extra in my opinion because what I was looking for was a Bible that reads well. And that's what I got. So I hope that this helps somebody make their decision. Um, I should also say that this Bible comes in black, brown, and red. The black, brown, and red all have the red under gold art gild. And then the imperial blue has, like I said, the silver under blue, or the blue under silver. You can get these these specific Bibles at evangelicalbible.com. I don't think you can get them anywhere else unless you're lucky enough to find one on eBay. Um, and I've seen a few posted already, but not a lot. People typically have given these Bibles very high marks. So uh, get one while you can and be keeping an eye out for the ESV version. Um, Evangelical Bible put out a poll recently that asked uh, what we would like to see in the future release of the Quintel in the ESV. Some things were different, some things were the same. So I'm curious to see what, uh, what comes of it, but um, you know, pick one of these up while you can. They're, they're uh, probably not gonna last uh, for very long, but um, you know, I love mine. Again, five out of five stars. And um, you know, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. I'm also on Facebook. Uh, you probably see my comments on Evangelical Bible's website. Uh, my name's Paul Tonka, so shoot me a message. I'll send you pictures. I'll do whatever I can to help you make your decision, but um, you know, strongly consider this if you're looking for a great reading Bible. Again, thanks for watching and uh, God bless. Have a great rest of your day.